Hello everybody, it's Jericho, and I about dropped the camera. That would have sucked. But I am back. I wanted to show you guys that yes, I am alive. Um, we had had some a lot of shit going on in the house. Holy crap. We've had Christmas. We've had New Year's. How was everybody's Christmas, by the way? Was it good? Was it good? Um, if you've noticed this little shaggy looks like I've got a oh, what do they call it? Business in the front, party in the back the hell are those things? I can't remember the name of them. Mullet! It's a mullet. It's a mullet. And if it looks like I'm a mullet, I have a mullet. I don't. Um, okay. Everybody remembers my brand new quaff, right? That I got ever so long ago. Alright. This is the hair. Can you see it? That's a lot of hair. Okay. What I am doing is I am growing this out. So, for a while, it's going to look like I got a little bit of a mullet going on in the back. I don't. Okay, because I'm still shaving the sides. See, I've still got my sides shaved. It's just I'm growing this top part out. All right. That's all I'm doing. I got hairs all over me. Holy shit. Anyways, um, sorry I'm doing this with just the one light bulb that's all, like, all the way over there. That's all I've got right now. My daughter stole my lamp out of my room. It was sitting in the corner. Gave me a luminous lightings and the whole line but anyways um also what's been going on with me is um about the stomach flu oh my god this shit's horrid the the, the, the stomach flu hit my husband <coughs> he was driving home from work they sent him home early he was driving home from work going, oh my god, I don't think I'm going to make it. And then all of a sudden, I hear a... <laughs> on the phone. He pukes in the car, on his phone, all down the front of him. Okay, when he's puking in the car, he is sitting in the driver's seat. He hit the steering wheel, the odometer, the, the windshield. He hits the floor pads underneath him. Hits the phone, hits the radio, hits everything on this side. Gear shift, everything, right, all, everything. A state trooper doesn't bother to stop him or anything like that. Because needless to say, my husband walks out of the car. Actually, he can't get out of the car because he's on a really busy highway. And so we, shit's going like this. Da, 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 da. He gets, he moves over to the other side, gets out, and then proceeds to puke again. At least it was outside the car. At least he didn't just smear the whole front of the car. God. And I keep an emergency pack of baby wipes and also emergency back, pack of, called wet ones, in the car. Well, the problem of it was it was so damn cold out, they were frozen. So needless to say, he had to sit there and wait for them to warm up. And then proceed to clean off the car, which he didn't do a very good job. And I'm back. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. But uh, needless to say, I made him strip as soon as he walked in the door. Ew. Because if I smelled it, I'd be puking too. A couple days later, I get the stomach flu. And it was feeling, I was feeling really weird. I was, because I was still, hang on a second. I don't know why I decided to pause it because I'm sitting here trying to press the pause button and it won't pause and it won't pause and it won't pause and it won't pause. And all of a sudden you hear my son, wee, hee, 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 farts and he leaves. Yeah. So anyways, I, I, I had eaten lunch, okay? It's the first time I've eaten lunch in a long time. Because I'm usually, I'll, um, I might eat something at breakfast, I might eat something at lunch, but I'm usually just a dinner and that's it kind of person. And it was sitting like right here, right underneath my rib cage, And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And dinner rolls around, I'm not hungry. I don't know what the hell's going on. And then all of a sudden, I, it, I feel it here. And I went, oh shit. And then I run to the bathroom. Well, the stomach flu... Depending on which one you get.
Anyways, depending on which one you get, <laughs> sorry, that's my son. He was happy he got tacos tonight. <coughs> um, depending on which one you get, it, it's either going to do one of two things. <laughs> one, it's going to come up. Two, actually three things. Two, it's going to go down south. And you'll be able to shit through a screen door. Yeah. It's nasty. Three, you'll get it coming from both ends. And it, moi, I get it from both ends. I know every time I get the stomach flu, and I haven't gotten it that often, it has always been the same thing. It has always been from both ends. Oh my god. So I feel it up to here. I'm, I'm going to puke. I know I'm going to puke. My, in my head, I'm like, I'm going to puke. I'm going to puke. And my heart's going, but I don't want to puke. Eh. You know, and I was like, I hate puking. I hate puking. Well, I get up out of the bathroom because I hadn't done anything. I was like, what the hell's going on with this shit? Okay, maybe it's just going to sit there and leave me alone. Wishful thinking. Didn't happen. I, five minutes later, I go run him back in there because I still get that same feeling, although it shifted. And I'm sitting here like, oh my God, what the hell's going on? Okay. So I'm sitting there on the toilet with a bucket in front of me. I'm like, I'm going to puke. I'm going to puke. I'm going to puke. Okay, you know that phlegm you get in the back of your throat just right before you go to puke? I tried to spit that out. Didn't work. <laughs> you know why? Because instead of spitting it out, I ended up throwing up into the bucket. <coughs> Everything I had eaten for lunch came back up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes? Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. 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 Whoa. Hey. Ow. Yeah, you don't do that. That's not nice. Okay. Parenting 101. Don't ever hit puppies. Because they didn't do anything to you. And puppies I refer to as the really the big old old dogs, small dogs, doesn't matter. But anyways, I had a fun couple, three days of that. Oh my God. To the point of... My husband called off of work, said that I had the stomach flu, I can't move, I couldn't move. I had fever chills, and then I had um, bouts of, of nauseousness, and it was horrid, absolutely horrid. I even woke him up at 2 o'clock in the morning to have him go out and get me a big-ass bottle of water and make sure it was cold, please, you know, and I'm not a big water drinker. I'm really not. So let's see if we can move this camera back without making it tipsy. I'm drunk. Ooh. Okay. Uh, uh, go home, phone. You're drunk. But, um, yeah. That was my bout going so far. And I'm going to take off my glasses so you guys don't see the reflection of my screen. Because I've got one screen back behind the camera and I've got another one over here. <laughs> and then I've got another one over here. A TV and two computer screens. So, yeah, the reason why you haven't probably been seeing me play any games is because I have been sticky poo and kids have been sticky poo and husband's been sticky poo and it's, it's been a mess and I'm tired. I didn't even bother to do makeup. Do you see this shit? I didn't even bother to do makeup. I am too tired for this shit. So, what, what time am I at now? Oh, eight minutes. I got time. So, a while in all my sticky pooness, I was deciding... To watch some stuff on YouTube and that was stupid um, and I was watching some stuff about how uh, women that are fighting fighting guys okay because they don't get what they want or whatever and blah 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 it could be some stupid ass fucking reason and uh, I see that they they hit the guy and the guy retaliates and hits him back okay it's called self-defense and there's people screaming, you don't hit her, she's a female, you, you don't hit women. And one guy said in one video, like, dude, she gonna hit like a dude, she gonna get expected to knock the fuck out like a dude. I am right there with that. Ladies, if you have this precon preconceived assumption that you can do whatever the hell you please to a man, uh, beating him up, whatever, and think you can get away with it without being hit, oh, think again, honey. Think again. Because 
that guy you've been beating on, his, 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 uh, I don't give a shit meter is filling up. And as soon as it gets to here, look the fuck out. Because I am not one of those girls. And I'm not going to raise my daughter as one either. Be like, oh, you can, you can hit a guy and they can't hit you back because you're a girl. That doesn't make any damn bit of difference. It doesn't make any damn bit of sense to me. <coughs> you know, I've seen guys that have bigger boobs than me. I do. And, you know, it's, <laughs> are you going to consider them a girl? No. <clears throat> you know, it. and guys, if you have the patience with a woman that she can sit there and throw shit at you and beat on you and the whole night and you don't raise a hand, then major props to you. Oh my goodness, major props to you. But if you're one of those guys that can take your, that kind of shit only so far, I have, I have no ill feelings towards you because you were defending yourself. Because they always teach us the first rule of defense is if they swung first, then you get to finish it kind of deal. Right? So, um... Let's see. Females, if you go to hit on a dude, you better make sure you knock him out in the first fucking punch. That's it. Because if you don't, he go knock you out. And he don't give a shit if you're a guy. He doesn't give a shit if you're a girl. He doesn't give a shit if you're white, black, Asian, Filipino, doesn't care. You hit him, expect to get hit back expect to get hit back because you want equality right well you can't just pick and choose honey it don't work that way you want equality so you're gonna get equal treatment you go hit somebody they go hit you back plain and simple it's what bullies what we what I used to do with bullies in school they hit me they did not want me to swing back a couple kids found that out the hard way <laughs> and they quit fucking with me. <clears throat> so how is it so much different if the tables are turned? I don't see a difference. I see bully as a bully. I see a bitch as a bitch. Doesn't matter of a gender or whatever. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. You a bitch, you can probably acting like one. You know, but in all honesty, women, you gotta sit there and hit a guy, you better be preparing for the return of your life. Ugh. And don't sit there and argue with me either. Because you know damn well that happens all the time. You sit there and you bark. You want equality. You want to do this and that and the other. Okay, fine. We're, we're regulated into the draft now. We have to sign up for the draft as soon as we're 18. All right, women, get put on the front lines of defense now. In the military. This is your equal... This is your equality. Okay? Women... You gonna sit there and haul off and crack a guy a good one across the chin? You better make sure he's gonna give you an equal return. Doesn't matter if you're wearing heels or not, honey. <laughs> you punch him, he gonna punch you back. It's the same thing. Just like if he punched you, you punch him back. I'm sorry it's so dark in here. God, I gotta get some more lighting. But seriously, people, if you, girls, if you're going to sit there and act all pristine and be like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe he just hit me back. I'm a female. I don't care. Did you lay your hands on him? Well, I slapped him. Hello? I'm sorry. I don't see the argument in it at all. Like, look, you know, you go smack a guy or a girl, be prepared to get hit back. That's how the fight started. So, I'm sorry. I was just... You guys bitch about how you want equal this and that and the other and the raise the glass ceiling and all this other stuff. But you know, when it comes to fights, you still think because you got boobs and, and a hoochie mama down there doesn't mean... It <laughs> means that you can't get smacked back even though I threw the first punch. It doesn't make a damn bit of difference. You know, you threw the first punch... Somebody go retaliate, especially that person that you hit, and they're going to punch you back. I don't see how you're not getting it. I mean, I really don't get it. Maybe it's something that it's not for me to get. I don't know. 
because I don't think like them. <laughs> Thank God. <coughs> I don't think I'm high maintenance. Lord, have mercy. Thank God I don't think like that. Oh. Because I know that there are some big girls out there that think their shit don't stink. That's fine. To a certain extent. <laughs> don't rub it into people's faces, okay? I mean, me, my confidence wavers at times, but other than that, I'm pretty confident. I mean, yeah, it wavers at times when somebody sits there and plays Captain Obvious and tells me I'm fat. I already know this. You're, you're not, you know, really telling me anything new. Of course, on top of that, I have two children. And the body reacts different ways when people have kids, when women have kids. Okay, so get this one thing straight. Not everybody's got to be the same. Not everybody's got to have that pers perfect basketball tummy, which women out there, if you bring a woman watching this, you got that basketball tummy. I'm so jealous of you. I wanted that basketball tummy. Well, the way I'm built, I'm built like a freaking linebacker. I can't have a basketball tummy. It doesn't work that way. I can have a pumpkin belly. Um, big ass pumpkin in the middle. And that's about it. I mean, that's how I was with both of my kids. I was, I was out here, man. And... It depended on, you know, how, kind of how I did after, you know. But here's the thing. I've had two C-sections. So if you're going to sit there and call somebody fat, you better make sure that they're not on any medication that makes them that way. And yes, there is medication that way. I know I'm going to go on a fat shaming rant again. Um, girls that are big girl, great that you have confidence. I am loving it. Do not rub it in people's faces because then it can backfire, okay? Please stop. Because I've met, met so many big girls. They're around my size, maybe a little bit bigger, and their confidence is, is wow. I don't want to say it's bad, but I don't want to say it's good either. You know, it's just, you can stop, you know? You know, and I'm not shaming anybody. It's just... You guys have really got to pay attention on what you say, how you say it, how you act, the way you portray it, everything. You got to start using the brain. This is the lump. The, this lump right here that's three feet above your ass. You got to use this. Think outside the box. Okay. And women, you want equality? Don't sit there and swing on a guy and think he won't swing at you back. That's the most stupidest thing you could ever do. <coughs> My dad always told me, he goes, if you're going to throw a punch, he goes, make sure they're not getting back up. Taught my daughter the same thing. I told her, I even explained to her, just because you're a girl doesn't mean that they won't hit you back. So. Gotta love my son. <laughs> This is ball of energy. Go, go, go. Three, two, one, zero. Go, 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 go. That's what he's doing. It's off of some movie and I can't remember which one it is. There's there's a couple of them. Quite, quite a few of them that do that. Military movies and, you know, stuff like that. And he'll, he goes, three, two, one, zero. Go, 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 go. I can't I I can't think of a movie that does that. Or I know that I know I've seen movies that done it, but I can't remember which ones. But anyways, girls, you wanted equality, you got it. <laughs> you go get, you go punch somebody, you go get punched right back. Uh big girls, buck up your confidence, ladies, because you're all fucking gorgeous as hell. Okay? Don't don't flaunt it, alright? Uh, you know, be conservative here. But you're beautiful, alright? And everybody else is worried about me. I'm still alive. I'm still getting over some crap, but I'm okay. So is my son. My son has been the only one that has not gotten anything. And he's two. All those anti-vaxxers out there, that's what vaccines do. They protect your children from shit. They do not give them, what is it, 
autism? Are you kidding me? You know that when you put your anti-vax child out there in the mix of all those vaccinated kids, you're putting them at risk too? Give me legitimate proof back there and up there that says vaccines give autism. I would love to know. Because autism is it's a hereditary trait. Not a given trait by vaccines. You're just trying to create excuses so you don't have to go and do your duty as a parent. But anyways, sorry, I got a really dark background over here and my face just is eh. Anyways, I'm going to stop ranting for right now. Everybody's fine. I, I will try to get some videos back up. My husband started school and he's using my computer also. So, the videos are going to be kind of sporadic. So, but other than that, I will see you guys later and in the next video. And hopefully I'll be finishing the Walking Dead series so I can get on to season three. Because it's still calling my name. I've got it. It's, it's on there. It, it's on there. So, yeah. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Later!